We are here at the beautiful Culinary Institute of the Pacific in Diamond Head. I'm getting a sneak peek this morning of their gorgeous facilities here, uh, which this fall will be full of students learning how to cook. We're so excited about that. The focus today, though, is on this guy right here, culinary instructor Jason Peel. Hello. Hi. Jim. So tell us, how did you get interested um, in becoming a chef? Cooking was always seemed interesting to me um, and I always had a passion for art so for me combining the two like being able to eat what you create <laughs> being able to eat what you look you know and just just that 3d art and you know it's just it seemed like a good idea at the time <laughs> and it must have been because here you are making a living right off yeah. of it um, after going to school you worked in kitchens mm -hmm. right probably my, my biggest one was working with Roy Yamaguchi um, He's been a great mentor, and it still helps me today, um, encouraging me to teach even um, after I left his restaurant in Waikiki. Um, so it's, it's, it's been great. You know? Tell me more about that. How did you decide to go from working in a kitchen to being an instructor? Yeah, it would probably be my family's fault. My, my parents are teachers. My grandma was an administrator. My grandpa was a professor. Even my auntie. I mean, I always thought it was in my blood. And I always wanted to try. And uh, I had an opportunity to come here and teach and give back to the community. And, you know, here I am. See, yeah. see what happens. <laughs> How long have you been an instructor? Well, this is my fourth year. The school's been great. Um, and just opening up this campus, looking around, you can see how beautiful it is. And um, I'm excited to see how that relates to the students and what it gives, you know, brings to them. Teaching, I'm sure, is a rewarding career. I mean, every day you're affecting you know students lives yeah there's there's good and bad students of course <laughs> but um there's a lot i mean we we get a lot of students in our school and there's a lot of students that come through that you know i'm really proud of and to watch them yeah to watch them grow you know i, I have a lot of them for the third year program here is a cohort so i see a lot of them they come to me for advice for whatever and it's great to be able to tie together the industry and the school so I think they're lucky to have you too so don't be so modest because you have real life experience mm -hmm. right and um, you know having an instructor who knows what they're talking about you know who who's been in it and has gone through what they're hoping to do yeah. um, you know is really fortunate for them I, it, it, it is I think it's it's it really is and I can I can go back to the industry and, and you know bring in some of my friends to my classes and stuff like that that are still working and and really tie that in together with the students so they have a greater understanding of what they're getting themselves into. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I, I channel them in other directions because I see other avenues that they could go down as right. far as... Because not everybody, this is not going to fit yeah. everybody. And there's right. a lot of different careers in the culinary field, so... Kapilani Community College is your alma mater. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be back now as an instructor? It's pretty... <laughs> it's it's interesting, you know. I I never liked school to be honest. <laughs> Who but <does? laughs> but um, to be able to give back and and to take the way I didn't like school and how I was taught to now being able to translate that into something fun for them, hopefully, well, fun in my mind. But um, I think that hopefully it benefits them. So tell us about this uh, institute. It's it's pretty amazing. Well, it's, it's, it's huge, <laughs> and it's just the first phase. So we have two more phases to come with a restaurant, some classrooms, and a, and a auditorium. So, I mean, there's a lot more to come. Okay. Very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Jason, thank you so much, and good luck to you. Thank you very thank much. You. I was so excited to go up there because I walk by there all the time, right? It's, when I'm it's exercising. It's huge, right? It's expensive. It's huge. It really is. And, you know, chef is what many people call a non traditional student. You mm -hmm. know, it's mm -hmm. after, you know, when you're older and you've had a career and you've decided you maybe want to try something else. And I love doing these stories on career moves because there's so many possibilities. It's you know inspiring. What I mean? It, it is. It is inspiring. And you're right. I'm glad we got a chance to sort of look behind the curtain. That was the neat thing I, I drew from this on Living 808 is I can remember years ago with, uh, with uh, uh, Chef Roy Yamaguchi mm -hmm. as well as uh, uh, Alan Wong. Yes. Both of them sort of leading the charge for this uh, in the groundbreaking and now to see it coming to fruition is I neat. I know. Cool. It really is gorgeous. Uh, very lucky for these, for these students, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just, just being able to 
go back to school, you know what I mean? Maybe later in life find your real passion. Yeah. It's really good for them. Yeah. Good.